Why? Because it says for Uh-oh. Yeah, but the number of protons, how many protons does magnesium have? Protons? Yes. Magnesium has, I think, very hold this. It has. Quit being How many electrons does it have? So magnesium loses electrons. I think that's more protons. Protons have one charge. Okay, I'll take this. En la de BR, para mí, el 5, pero este es de 5 menos 80. TGIF, I'm here a little bit longer than I want to be. I had a parent meeting, so that lasted a little bit longer than I wanted to. But I want to talk about what I did this week. One of the things that I bought um, were these little large magnet Unifix cubes. And I decided to use these to illustrate elements, compounds, mixtures, but also when we get into, we already started balancing equations, but students that need more of a visual representation to help them out. I have these, but then I can also use next year. And so all these colors, 100 came in the pack. Um, Didax, and that's actually, I have the unique fix cubes, and they're somewhere locked up. And so I figured, oh, they're magnets, and you can also write, I use my marker to write on them. You can erase. And so it's, you can use them for a variety of things. So these are great. Um, I also bought, because my student teacher, I had him um, make, design a lesson because pretty much since he started he had been using all of my activities and so I wanted to see if he was able to create his own lesson and so he brought some, these are mine, but he had brought some of these snap cubes from DU Teach, which is um, also my teaching program that I graduated from and I saw them and I had been thinking for like the longest time I wanted to buy some and then I saw what he was doing with them and I did his activity so Yesterday morning, I ordered some, and both the magnets and the cubes were delivered yesterday by the time I got home. So what I did today at the very beginning of the class for the classes that I taught was I had them construct, hey, put together an element, put together a compound or a molecule or a homogeneous mixture, a heterogeneous mixture. So I was able to, the students worked in pairs, and I just walked around to see what they did. I totally forgot to take a video of that because I was just into them doing it. I also had um, someone from another school come observe my class, um, another chemistry teacher, but then I had my student teacher in here. Then I had the other pre chemistry teacher in here. Yesterday I had another student teacher in here from another program in here observing me. I felt like I was observed a lot this week, um, which is fine because, I mean, we students were finishing up stations. My BA classes, they were doing something different. Um, actually, my BA classes, they start at Atomic Structure. They won't take their test until Tuesday. My A.D. classes will take their test on Friday. This coming Wednesday is PSAT. This Monday is no school for students. And so it's just been, and also like the schedule has been messed up because last Monday um, our campus had a day of innovation. So our students didn't have school. We had to come to school. Other schools had school. And so that just has like been a big mess right now and so just trying to play catch up because my a-day classes are one period behind and trying to remember where everybody's at so my b-day classes yesterday i had them start atomic structure and so i had the videos from last year where i tried to do blended learning and last year like my videos didn't work because they were buffering there was i guess it was just something in new um also because the district at that time i think our our bandwidth wasn't great um but i had no problems so the students we did a little activity first that um, my student teacher came up with, with the cubes, um, trying to go over Dal Dalton's postulates. Then we went into the video notes, and so the students had the notes for the interactive notebook, and I just walked around and helped as needed. And so that was pretty much Tuesday, my 80 classes. They will start that on Wednesday. It's going to be short because PSAT, so I <clears throat> as I choke, <laughs> my classes, I will only see my eight classes on Wednesday for 35 minutes a piece. And then on Friday, next Friday is also another eight day. So they will take their tests the first half and then the second half they will pick up um, on the video notes that my B day classes did yesterday. So they literally will be a week 
between both classes, but they'll be caught up by that point. Um, and that's all, I got a hamster, not a hamster, a gerbil, sorry. I'll be here making all that noise. But that's what we did this week, it was great. Um, oh, let me also show you, I made my like standards based grading poster, I finally made one. And then what I'm also trying to do is make um, like the rubric so the students can see what the rubric um, is. And I'm also trying to utilize, I don't think I mentioned this, but I was without a phone for about 10 days because my iPhone 6, like the, the, the 6, the original 6, the software stopped working. And so I had to, I was forced to get a new phone. So I went ahead and got a new phone. Um, so I've been using my phone to just like make video, quick videos to upload onto the Canvas site or to explain a lot of students weren't here or if they want something to review, they can use like the video because this upcoming test actually is based upon their lab experiences and the station activities. Like I didn't teach at all. I let the learning stations do all the work and I walked around and I helped students. And for the most part, many of the students should have had this because I know that they cover it like in middle school. I have some students who were, that were a little bit weaker and so I had to kind of explain things. But I think with the multiple stations and many of the stations tied into one another, that was able to help many of the students um, because like if they didn't get density in one area, but then they went to another area, they may have gotten at that, that point because it was more hands-on versus maybe like, hand, um, like a reading. But that was what we did this week. Next week, again, no school. There's PD for us on Monday. Tuesday's test, they're gonna finish up. Atomic Structure B-Day, Wednesday's PSAT. Thursday, I need to figure out specifically what I'm doing because we're a little bit behind. But other than that, that's it. I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm gonna head home and enjoy the rest of my Friday and my weekend. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.